didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Journal? Down from the heavens bearing the gift, it's Jometheus, and welcome to Marie's Room. Marie's Room is a game that is free to play on Steam. It is described as a short story exploration game about an unconventional friendship between two classmates. You play as Kelsey, remembering Marie's Room as it was 20 years ago, but something's off. What happened to Marie? And so without further ado, let's hop in and find out. Why would I, after all that's happened? Even in here. So, where is the journal? All right, everything's working good. <laughs> I keep having to restart this because I keep uh, getting technical difficulties. I don't want to go back down. Or things are happening that are not supposed to happen. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Might need to go in there later, though. We'll find out whether or not this character has to piss. California crisp white lines. Mm -mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Probably doesn't need to piss. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Okay, so she lived here at one point in now does not. Look, Mr. Torres, I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Or rather, at least, she lived here at one point. Maybe not in this house, but she lived in this area at one point, but doesn't live in this state anymore. That's at least what I'm gathering from this. Could be wrong. No, that's her parents' room. Okay. So, I'm just trying to exhaust to make sure that I see everything out here that I possibly can before we go in. And... Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? Which one's her? I guess, I'm guessing if she's saying the hair, she's the one with the red hair, which means that's probably Marie. This is Marie's room, the thing that's slightly open with a thing on the door. It says, no entry unless you're a tourist from the future. I assume this was the way that I was supposed to go in the first place, but I just wanted to cover all my bases first, make sure I'm not missing anything. You got all these on the wall. Bumblebee. Looks like a cat's tr cat tree. There's no cat. So strange. Man. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. Huh. Vancouver. Didn't see that one before. I'm not sure what that means. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There's only one thing to do. Get to Marie. Kelsey Jackson. Huh. It's bizarre. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I think that's it. And then... Trust me, I'm not missing this over here. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything else in the room. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend. 
and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Interesting. So now we're in her room in the past. This is as it was, I guess, before she left. That's what I'm assuming. So there's a lot of stuff to look at here. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Okay. Gives me a very Life is Strange vibe if you ever played the Life is Strange games. It feels a lot like this. It's got like the indie music and that soft kind of aesthetic where everything looks kind of somewhat, like almost watercolored. It's very cool, very interesting look. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. So who's he? That's the question. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Okay, so it seems like she's maybe a little bit rough and tumble, a little rough around the edges, um, whereas Marie is definitely not so much. That's I feel like I'm seeing a kind of a contrast between them already. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. <laughs> but some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Okay. Oh, the music stopped. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be, until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. Okay. So, she was somebody who needed to get food regularly. So was she homeless, maybe? She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres. Food rescue. So Marie Torres. Who's Mr. Jones? Didn't she say Mr. Jones? The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking Mr. because Jones. he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Yeah, who the hell is Mr. Jones? Let's find out. shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Okay. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Cheeseburger. He... 
there's some key that we don't know yet. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Okay. Already got Yeah, a lot of a lot of indie hipsterish stuff. I'm I'm not gonna check that out until I collect everything. So I picked up on a little bit as I was playing before. Um, the journal gets updated every time that you search around the room, but I figure if I only read it once, then I'm gonna have everything in order and be able to figure out what was going on. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy that drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Trevor? Trevor, is this the him? Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beats the humiliation of being served by Marie. Mm. So I'm guessing maybe not homeless, but definitely she had to eat a little less at home. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Hmm. That night. So something big happened, and she seems to know what it is. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Oh, there's the music. All right, world map. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Hmm. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Oh, that's right. Okay, so she said that her mom was just neglectful or didn't care, so. Not homeless. So, she must have been when she was at least younger. She was my friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window. But she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. What did she do? Library. Password. Library. She must have written it down here. I'm not a library. Okay, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> I had to restart the game twice. Hopefully, I don't have to do that again. Let's figure this out. And her password, her hint was, I am not A, so I'm going to assume. No person. Alright. What have we got in here? memes. The internet is for cat videos. Everyone knows that. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Died? Somebody died? From Mr. Phillips to Marie Torres. 
Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid that there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards, Principal Phillips J. Philip J. Fry. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. Oh boy. Trevor. What the fuck is Trevor? Some creep. Got anything else? Internet. One day, oh. I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. Mm. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. Uh -oh. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it. But I'm sure it was Trevor. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Oh boy, that's, uh... That's painting a little bit of a picture. So, Trevor was some creep. Taking pictures, and... She was looking into a gun, maybe for self-defense. Her cat went missing because of that guy. What the fuck? Who the fuck is Trevor? Oh, 317, just about. Maybe 314. Okay. It's gonna be a bitch to fucking put together. Alright. Trevor. What an Good asshole. Shirt. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt. Until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. We got a lot of shit for it later. Okay, so he's an abusive shithead. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Knife wound? What the fuck happened? That picture looks horrible. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Mm, I don't like this, where this is going. Seems like something happened tonight where they were just hanging out and getting oranges or something. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it. I chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's what that antimatter thing was about. She wanted to do something with math, and she said that was boring, so they settled on antimatter because they weren't going to do time travel, because it's hard to really do time travel as a science fair project. Or is it? Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Okay. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, 
free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Uh, okay, she said that before, so I'm assuming that's what she was talking about earlier when she said him. Okay, so she had a boyfriend that bought her things. Yeah, she had a boyfriend that bought her things. But he was also an asshole. And for some reason, messed with Marie. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. That's the stone that she threw through the window. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Vancouver? What's that? Can I get to that? No? Yes? It seems like I'd be able to get to that. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them, whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Out of pizza boxes? That sounds like something that, like, a three-year-old would do. Is that a mirror? That's a weird mirror. Why don't I show up in it? <laughs> There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Okay. So it seems like... What's her name again? Kelsey. So it seems like Kelsey is a little bit on the... down on her luck side. She's got a mom who doesn't really care. And so she oftentimes will go without eating. She meets this guy, Trevor who is kind of an asshole, but he buys her nice things, so she likes him. And she met her friend, Marie, at a food drive, food bank, something, feeding the, the hungry. So she, okay. All that I really don't know is what the hell happened that he was involved. Oh, I miss this. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Uh, probably Trevor. Creepy. Mm. Okay, so that explains that. I was trying to figure out who the hell Mr. Jones was. And... She once asked me, Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Hmm. Vaguely threatening. Alright. So... What else we got? Or is that everything? Doesn't seem like all too much. But, you know, it might be it. Oh, what's this? That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. Her birthday, 4th of March. March. Wait, wasn't there. Oh. I 
swear I should be able to get that, but I, I can't. Anything up here? What do you got to say for yourself? Um, that seems like everything. Wait, keys. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. So she lived with her for a while. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Alright. I think that's everything that I can find. Almost positive, so... Alright, so this is Marie's journal. So from the beginning, last hope. High school kid saves classmates from hunger. I can't actually read in and see what it says, but I'm guessing that that is Marie at the food rescue. And that's November 9th, 2017. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it, as if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help. There, the end. Everyone satisfied. We had a party today, celebrating three years of Food Rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces. Loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows her. She's gorgeous. Surprised me is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. November 21st, 2017. Oh my god, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased, though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. Well, that's cute. So she wanted to be her friend. It seems a little shitty, though, because Kelsey didn't really seem to want to be hers. I mean, I guess, depending on the circumstances here and the way that she meets, if she met her through the food rescue, that would have been embarrassing. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hadn't been to food rescue in a while. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something, so I offered her my sandwich. Ah, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. Now we're behind with the project, too. Hope we make the deadline. There's something missing there, so I guess I didn't get everything. January 5th, 2018. We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying. And she's right. But matter is also life. Life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she's got nothing to lose. Bam! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. Guess I am a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break my neck, by the way. See if I care. Life matters, loving the chemistry. This is called Nothing Was Different. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. Happy birthday, Mom. January 19th, 2018. Maybe January 19th. 11918. January 28th, 2018. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He's such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. As if. Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this. But she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the smartest, coolest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself yet. Uh, 
Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That Lala night she was with Trevor, and he is such a fucking asshole. She's different than she's around him. Not that it makes it alright. But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. She said if I'd answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have had to throw the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really. Except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed, going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. Is that tire track? Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night, the heels cut into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in the bed. She was amused. Can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9, because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet, at least. When I tried them on, looked a little like... When I tried them on, it looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F-words in these pages. I am so friggin' proud. Ha! Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window. Then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that as a little girl I used to curse abundantly, trying to extend my vocabulary here? Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute up to a certain age, but he said Mom hated it, so every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have, re he must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Madwoman. Must have. The fucking swear jar. She called me her friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. Aw, oh, that's cute. I have the dream. Want to have a friend? Is that it? All is now harmed. Oh wait, what was this one called? We're going to be friends. Okay, and they were. All is now harmed. Kelsey is so angry at the world. Like, all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We all have different story to tell. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen. Not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs, the cards. Kelsey broke up with her Trevor. Kelsey broke up with Trevor, finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. Fuck promise not to swear, so there you go. Oh, it's bleeped out. It's funny. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I've got her tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. I don't like where this is going at all. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that. It keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his finger across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary-ass clown, I'd laugh, but he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. Kelsey took me night swimming in jo Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared shitless the first time. But, uh, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. Also, the orange sunset. It took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike. Because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now. And on this day, we rode them through Mr. Jones's garden. Mm, garden. And on, and on this day, we rode them through Mr. Jones's orange grove in broad daylight. We got home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I didn't even think about getting caught. Nothing was the same. They're not listening. I've tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Fuck. Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, back to him. Trevor is dangerous. I know it's him, and there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. Oh, that's bad. I can't.
can't sit and watch. I'll have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns off anyone. Not that I mean to shoot anyone, it's just... I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I'm milling him, I'm meeting him out of town somewhere a little shady, I admit, but with Trevor lurking around, I'll take my chances. I don't like that at all. Very nice art, though. Bad news. There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time, and the police thinks it's Trevor. Suppose it was him in our house. I can't wrap my head around it. He's too big. It's too big. But Kelsey says it isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard, but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at that torn t-shirt, I think she might be in denial there. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. We needed this. Beer, water, and oranges. We needed this. Beer, water, and oranges. Like so many nights before, Trevor. No, I'm not going to let him, let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. What did she do? Oh, I can't keep going, so I'm assuming I have to unlock that thing. But what I've been seeing as I've been going through here, three years, that's a red circle three. Circled red nine. Circled red five. Circled red one. So three, nine, five, one. Wait. But that's not enough, is it? Your number. A five. Oh shit. Let me look around the room again. Maybe I forgot something, or I got it the first time and then I didn't get it again. She was my friend, and mm. I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window. But she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. I am probably missing something then. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. I gotta say, I really don't like Kelsey. <laughs> like, there's having a shit life, and then there's being an asshole. Like, I understand being rough around the edges if you had a shit life, but she's just kind of an asshole. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classics Night at the theater. I went with Ben. Loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually friggin' hugged her. And she pushed me away. Asked me what I thought I was doing. And that Trevor... That Trevor asshole was enjoying the show. And her stupid cheerleader friends. And so... That was before they became friends. Right? Or is it? I think I'm missing something. But I should have enough to open that case. So three... Four... Nine... Five, one. Three, four, nine, five, one. Let's give it a shot. What is the code, Murray? Wait. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. Oh my god. Oh no. This does not fare well. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. 
She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it, so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. God. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. Oh, That's shit. when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, Jesus that I'd enjoyed Christ. it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house, and we got caught by Mr. Torres, but I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... Oh my god. That's what they meant by nobody has to die. What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened. Or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet. Dead. Oh. That we all remember. Jesus. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Okay. 
I regret food rescue. I regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my inability to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her, it turned out. It's all been bullshit. I'm so stupid. I should have realized it that that Lala night and walked away for good. Because someone died right in this room. I made him die. I pulled the trigger, made a bullet pierce his head, made his blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks in the floor where it will remain forever. To bear witness to what I'm capable of, I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this. Fix me. Away from her. I have to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? Shot him in the head, for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls him intrusive thoughts. I say that the truth. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I'll go I will go up north to Uncle Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear diary, maybe I'll send you Dear Diary, maybe I'll send for you someday. And all of this is long over. I've dealt with being a murderer. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you. I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright, Marie. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I can do. was nice. It was nice. Very different. Um, some people don't really like games like that where it's just literally searching something and you don't really have much of a game aspect of it per se. There were two puzzles in the whole thing, but I mean, in all honesty, it's, it's a pretty well-written story and it's uh, free to play, so I mean, it's, it's hard to really complain too much about that. Um, Pretty well done. Very small team, it feels like. Yeah, and that's it. So I guess she ended up friends with her in the end? At least that's what I'm thinking. Well, she kind of had to, right? So she went up north, she had a family, had some kids, and they kind of reconnected after a few number of years. But anyway, that was Marie's room. It's pretty cool. Uh, definitely different. I guess, I think that might have went a little over an hour. But we'll see how it comes out in editing. It's pretty good. Um, there's a few games like that for you to play. I'll probably end up playing those in the next... Whenever I do my Let's Plays on Tuesdays. So, we'll see. Anywho, that's all I'm going to do for today for this video. So, I'm going to leave that here, and I will talk to you next time. Everybody have a good night. See you later, bye.